Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. In this video tutorial, we are considering a new uh, addressing mode. Uh, it is again type of memory operand, operand addressing mode. We are considering memory operand addressing mode, but this time its full name is register indirect, right? Last time we covered direct memory operand addressing mode, but this time we are covering what? Register indirect memory operand addressing mode, right? Register indirect is also type of memory operand. So the big name is basically memory operand, but its sub classification is what? Register indirect, right? And what is the uh, quality of this uh, in addressing mode is one of the operand is should be memory operand, right? One of the operand is memory operand, but effective address of memory operand uh, will be present in either of these register, right? Now remember, if we have considered uh, this uh, formula that effective address will be uh, calculated by the summation of these three elements base plus index plus destiny. Uh, sorry, this is displacement. Let me correct it. Okay, I have corrected it. Uh, it is displacement, right? So either of, uh, of them should be present or all three of them should be present, right? Uh, and if they are all present, we will add them. But in case of register indirect, only uh, one of them should be present base or index. So base for base, we will take the value from BX or base pointer register. And for index, we will take value from source index or destination index register, right? So let's take an example. Uh, let's say uh, we are writing move BX comma CX, right? We are considering this example, right? So first of all, is it a memory operand addressing mode or not? Yes, it is a memory operand addressing mode because we can see that there is a square bracket mentioned here. And whenever we see a square bracket, that means it is a memory operand. So this is definitely a memory operand addressing mode. Furthermore, it is not a direct because direct value is not given in a square bracket. What can we see? We can see that there is a register mentioned and that is what base register, BX register, right? So BX is given. So now let's consider the value of BX uh, for this example, BX is equal to 0 to double zero, uh, right? It is just a, just a dummy example, right? It could be anything. I'm just taking an example, right? Okay. Furthermore, we know that this, this square bracket indicates only effective address. We, uh, but the overall formula of memory operand addressing mode or physical address should be SPA colon effective address and there is no SPA is mentioned. So since there is no SPA or segment base address is mentioned, so that means we will use default segment and that is what uh, data segment, right? So let's consider uh, the segment base address is a default segment and data segment. So the physical, uh, the formula, which is SPA colon effective address will become data segment colon the value of BX register, right? Uh, so uh, we don't know the value of data segment. Let's take this value is, I'm just considering it, right? I'm just considering it, let's say zero one double zero. And the VX value, as I told you, let's consider it is zero 0200. If I calculate these values, uh, zero 0100 will be multiplied by 10 plus zero two double zero. So that will eventually lead towards what zero one triple zero plus zero two double zero, right? And if I add them all, it will become zero one two double zero. So this is the what physical address of that location we are talking about in this instruction. And what this instruction says, let me first of all highlight this instruction. This is the physical address, right? So uh, the BX register, it is just mentioned here, but the physical address we are talking about is zero one two hundred. So the, the meaning of this instruction is that uh, what you have to do, you have to move the value of CX. CX is a source on the a source operand and this BX in memory operand is a destination operand. So the value of CX should be moved in BX register. Remember CX is a 16 bit register. So there will be uh, 16, uh, two values. Let's say I'm just taking an example again. CX value is what? Two, four, five, eight right? 245A value is basically stored in CX, right? So it's now, uh, how many bits? 16 bits. We know that every location can, can hold only 8 bit value. So 5A will eventually go to this 0, 1, 200, right? So if I talk about after the execution of this instruction, what is going to happen at this address, 0, 1, 2, 0, 5A is stored, 5A will be stored. But where this 24 will go? This 
will be stored at 0, 1, 2, 0, 1 is equal to 2, 4. The next byte will be used. Remember, since we are moving a 16 bit value, so uh, that 16 bit value cannot store at 1, 0, 1, 2, 0, 0. That 5a, which is lower byte, it will be stored at lower address, and higher byte, which is 2, 4, will be stored at 12, 0, 1. I hope this example is clear and this addressing mode is clear. Now, let, let's take uh, a common example which we are considering for every operand addressing mode. So let's go to that example. Okay, let's uh, take this example. And in this example, again, we are given with certain microprocessor registers and certain memory uh, portions, right? So the, the instruction this time we are considering it this one is move AX comma SI. So the instruction is, let me write it for you, uh, move AX comma SI. And this is square bracket indicates, again, we are talking about some memory operand and since uh, that effective address is stored in SI register or some register so it is a register in direct memory operand addressing code okay the value of SI will provide us uh, effective address that is 1234 I hope you can see that this value is mentioned here uh, 1234 which is the value of SI so this is what effective address right and uh, SPA, SPA is not mentioned here, so that will be considered data segment. So data segment value is what? 0, 2, double, 0. So again, if we consider the formula, segment base address colon effective address. So segment base address would be what? DS and uh, the SI would be the effective address. DS value is 0, 2, double, 0 colon and uh, SI value is 1, 2, 3, 4 hertz. So if we apply the formula 0, 2, 0, 0 will be multiplied by 10 plus 1, 2, 3, 4 hertz. That will eventually becomes 0, 2, triple 0 plus 1, 2, 3, 4 hertz. And if we calculate the, uh, if we calculate the, the overall uh, result, it will become 4, 3, 2, and 2 plus 1 would be 3 and 0, right? So that is the physical address in which we are mentioned and we are interested here. So this address, right? This address is pointed by this source operand, which is SI, right? So the value of this, uh, this location should be moved inside this AX register. So if we look at this memory, uh, there is this value is basically stored here, 032343, uh, 03, 03, which is ED and ED uh, is a 8-bit value and AX is a 16-bit register so we can't move ED we will take also the next byte which is BE so the value B double ED uh, will be moved inside this AX register it is the quite same example which we have con considered in direct memory operand addressing mode I hope this point is clear uh, but I'm just trying to repeat the everything so that uh, everything should be coming in this tutorial okay now let's uh, execute this instruction so if we execute this instruction i hope you can see that uh, after the execution this portion is shown b double ed is basically moved here inside this ax register right furthermore this instruction was of two byte right the earlier value of ip was zero zero it's what these two bytes are executed so ip value has become zero zero two this is a common uh, rule now i hope these things are quite clear uh, because we have discussed in now in multiple tutorials but the main thing how this si was calculating this address 023234 right and how that value these two bytes are moved inside this ax register which we can observe here in after the execution picture uh, i hope this uh, register indirects memory address memory operand addressing mode is clear uh, if still if you have any confusion or queries you can post them in comment section Thank you so much for listening.